Hi, welcome to another 481 Designs video. I'm going to be trying to condense actually two um, journals into one video because I am actually on my way to, <laughs> to deliver them to this wonderful shop called Detailed Boutique. It's here in historic downtown Littleton and um, they have give me the wonderful opportunity to carry my products. So I wanted to drop off some more goodies for them. Um, I've been working on kind of um, a shabby chic, I guess all this cold weather is making me think of spring and, and all those kind of happy bright colors. So I have been working on um, kind of like a shabby chic collection. So I, I wanted to bring a couple of journals, but I did want to make a quick video so sorry if it's a little rushed but um, just to kind of show you what um, some of the products that are being um, displayed at um, Details Boutique in case you are in the Denver area you can um, definitely come by and pick one up for yourself so I'll start with the pink one first and like I said it's gonna be a little quicker than usual because I'm trying to just combine it with two two journals in one video so okay so on the cover I did kind of like the layered look that I have um, really grown to love it has just like little tags some printed ephemera and then like the the Tim Holtz um, die and it's just it has more space for you to tuck more things in there but I do like to leave a little space for you and your goodies so I added some wrinkled seam binding and then the black and white ribbon and then a matching charm um, I added I want to make sure I'm in frame sorry if I kind of get out of frame sometimes so I added one of those um, gold um, clips so that way you can remove the charm and this is not in the, the the lace I mean the seam binding is not attached to the journal so you can slip it off if you needed to because this is intended to um, be used as a traveler's notebook insert so if you choose to use it that way you might want to take the charm off um, and that's why I didn't attach it permanently you can just then attach it to the the leather cover um, of your travelers your travelers notebook so Let's see. So then I have the, the traditional closure that I include with my journals. The back cover has a nice big tag. Lots of space for journaling. And then inside on the front cover, I have um, some ephemera, more of the Tim Holtz die cut, and then more Tim Holtz... Um, this one is like his photo booth pictures, which I just, I think they're so cute. And then I added some ephemera here on the, on the pocket. Then you have a paper doily. On this white um, envelope, I created like a tuck spot behind this printed ephemera. Then there's the, the, the ribbon um, paper clip. And then, of course, there's the pocket in there. Um, you have a, a die cut flower and scrapbook paper. I love these. These are so cute. These are our printed um, butterflies from a, an Etsy shop. And let's see. So then you have the beautiful um, map paper, scrapbook paper, which, again, it kind of ties all of the, the journal together with with all the pastel colors then on the other side you have a nice big pocket I just added some vintage music sheet on it I mean inside the pocket and then this is just some journaling um, paper vintage music sheet and then I have a beautiful flower die cut down here and then look at these butterfly oh my gosh you see that sparkle it's got glitter all all on the butterfly and then I this is a printed image from um, Etsy and then this one as well and I just added that to a shipping tag and create a little tuck spot so on this side you have a nice big um, cardstock piece of paper one more 
of those butterflies. And I don't know if like you can see, they're, they're like dimensional, so they're super, super cute. They add a lot to that paper. So you have some washi tape, um, another glittered die cut here, some, um, some more paper. This is just like a, a sticker, a sweet memory. I just think all these colors go so well together. I love it. So this is a, a paper doily, some more journaling paper, and then this is a Tim Holtz um, die cut of that uh, of the bird, which I think goes so wonderful with kind of like that, um, I guess, spring-inspired, shabby chic um, journals that I've that I've been kind of working on. So. Um, Another one of those butterflies. Here's a tuck spot and some printed ephemera. This is a great opportunity for journaling. This is just like a little um, band that I, I just held it in there with a the, uh, little gold paper clip and then the feather. And then just some, this is also a little piece of ephemera. I can't remember where that's from though. Anyway. <laughs> Um, and this is um, just some vintage music paper, more journaling paper, another great opportunity for pictures um, or journaling, and that's just a very muted yellow um, scrapbook paper, more of that wonderful map um, scrapbook paper. I have a tuck spot behind this printed ephemera, and then I inserted just like a, a nice big shipping tag because it's such a small... Um, space on the bag you really wouldn't have any, enough space to journal so I added the tag for that the paper doily and then on the back cover I just created a big pocket and then I added some ephemera I love this Isn't that pretty and again all the colors are just just so lovely and delicate and they're perfect um, for I think these journals would be great for like Mother's Day gifts, for Easter gifts. The colors are just, lend themselves really well for that. And like I showed you in the beginning, the back has a nice big pocket for some more goodies. And then that's, and then I love this part too. This charm, this love, so pretty. But anyway, so that's the pink one. And I'm, now I'll show you the green one. Okay, so this has just a lovely charm which, with some glass beads, some gold um, toned beads. And then one more time, it's, it's attached to the, the insert um, or the journal with, uh, with the gold paper clip. And then see, you could just attach this to the leather um, cover, you know, the traveler's notebook. So you have some really pretty green ribbon and then the black and white um, ribbon here. So one more time, I have a nice, you know, kind of layered look on the cover. And then I have some ephemera kind of tucked in there, more Tim Holtz dye, and then a little kind of tag that you can journal on. And then I added this beautiful lace to the spine, which I thought was so pretty. And it won't add very much bulk if you put it inside the traveler's notebook anyways. Okay, so inside you have the front cover, more Tim Holtz um, photo booth pictures, and then just some ephemera and scrapbooking paper. I have a paper doily and a white envelope where I just added some music sheet on there and a little die cut flower so you know being that the color on this one is more towards like the green side of things so you have this um, map, map scrapbooking paper <laughs> and um, which I think goes so well with with the cover then I've added more die cut flowers here, more scrapbooking paper here. This is just some journaling paper that I just added, a little band of scrapbook paper and die cut, um, like a printed image on here with gold paper. Whew. 
<laughs> okay, so um, beautiful butterfly. I don't know if you see that, but it's got like sparkle. It's got glitter. So um, beautiful little butterfly sticker. I don't know, border on there on the, um, um, the vintage music sheet. Then I added more of the ribbon that's in the cover, which I love doing that, um, to the paper clips just to kind of tie it all together. Then you have a paper band that you could remove because it's just on there with the paper clip. But in the back, it's just a, you know, just white paper so you can journal on or add your pictures, whatever. And more scrapbook paper and a beautiful flower die cut here. More on this side. And I love this. And you can kind of see it there because you have like the, how it kind of um, almost creates like a border. So when you actually have your journal, you, you journal on here, it looks so pretty. And then you have um, the other side of that paper doily. And this page, I created a pocket using one of those white envelopes. Um, actually, no, they're white paper bag, not envelope. And then I just added some ephemera, kind of tucked in there. Okay. <laughs> it was getting away from me. And scrapbook paper and stuff, just to add kind of that layered look. Um, one more um, kind of journaling page but I adorned it a little bit with the paper band and more of that pretty ribbon. And you have music sheets and then you have um, those really beautiful paper flowers. Um, the die cuts in it. I believe these are um, all Anna Griffin products. And I just, oh my gosh, between her and Tim Holtz, those are, I could just live off of their products forever. They, they just have like the most wonderful products. So here you have just journaling paper and I just created a, a little band to go around it and then just embellished it with a little tag and then of course the paper clip with um, the same ribbon. So on this page you have, um, I believe this one is to hold, I think, and then Anna Griffin flower die cut and then I have a nice big pocket with a great um, big tag so you can journal on, in there as well. So more of that map um, scrapbook paper the other side of the white envelope and I just what I did is I just kind of tucked a piece of scrapbook paper and I kind of just tucked it in there so it kind of hangs over the side but it's not I mean it's not permanent so you can definitely journal on it or or just you know add more things to it and then this beautiful die cut flower then you have paper doily and then this is the back cover <laughs> the beads are kind of in the way okay in the back cover then I have um, just a nice big pocket more Tim Holtz um, photo booth and then these are just like scrapbook paper then I have some printed um, ephemera and um, like a little tag or whatever and then whoops. Okay. so there you are and like I said I'm gonna include all the details to the shop to all of my um, my different accounts like Instagram and Facebook so you could follow along there too and um, I will um, try to record one more video of the um, the other here I'll show you of these kind of medium-sized journals that I made for the details boutique um, inventory too well, thank you so much for watching, and I will, um, I'll be back soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.